Hey everyone, uh, we're gonna get off the finesse deal for uh, a jig here. We're gonna do um, a heavy duty one. This is a half ounce uh, custom flipping head with a 5 odd Eagle Claw 2706 heavy wire flat eye hook. And the pattern we're gonna do today is what I call grass gill. It's, um, let's see if my light will get a little better here. Um, green pumpkin, it's got blue on the top, and we got that orange spot here on the bottom. And you'll see how it all comes together. Really good pattern. Um, this is more of a summertime pattern. But uh, Steve, this is for you. I know you wanted to, um, this is more your style, and I have to get some of these ready for my, my own fishing, and my box is getting a little thin. It's been... Mm -hmm. Haven't done too many of these this style uh, jigs, so we're going to have at it. We're going to take some black two tendon air flat wax nylon thread, and that's what we're going to start with for our base. Trim the excess off here. A couple more wraps. And first color we're going to start with is orange. Uh, this is Orange Nature's Edge. Uh, I like it. It's more of a muted orange color, and the black print really, uh, really breaks up it breaks up the color. I like that uh, modeled appearance. To me, I think it's more natural, and I think I get more bites. Uh, your mileage may vary. I don't know, but for me, this is having a modeled appearance is what I strive for with a lot of. Uh, jigs and this is like I said this is um my grass gill pattern and I fish this uh around vegetation that's the main deal for for this pattern um clear to uh slightly stained water maybe two foot of visibility is what I like to fish this in little color but not too much so we're going to put this orange and this is a half tab, by the way. This total is going to be 64 strands. And this is right here. What we got now is 10 strands of this uh, orange nature's edge. So I get it tied in that the 10 strands is about halfway. And we're going to flip it over. And we're going to do, this is nature's edge blue. And it matches the, the blue and the paint really well, this uh, particular color, which is one of the reasons I like the Nature's Edge blue. But you could use like blue barbed wire if you wanted to. Uh, I've done that in the past. You know, like all my patterns, they've uh, things that I've done 10 years ago have evolved as new colors and uh of silicone and new colors of paint and things of that uh, that nature when they come a, become available um, I will turn around and I will adjust my patterns just like uh, if you go back and look at my roadkill I did two jigs at one time there and uh, the reason why is I want to show you how the different materials become available my patterns will evolve. I'll change them. In that, that's one instance where I actually kept both of them um, because they are a little different. But now uh, we'll get back to this here anyway. It's me blabbing all the time. Uh, we got our blue tied in on top of the orange. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this on its side, and we're going to take this color. This is a living image color called bluegrass. And what it is, is it's green pumpkin Dalmatian with um, this like light blue with some blue flake in there. Uh, and I believe there's watermelon, like the green pumpkin to the watermelon to the blue. Uh, it works really well, it, especially with this pattern. It blends in with, uh, with all the colors that we have on the head. And it fits the motif of what I was, uh, this is one of the few jigs that I made like to, to pattern 
more of a bluegill than like a craw or anything else. So, and this is a full tab, well, a half a tab, but we're going to use a full tab of this. Uh, I cut it in half because it's easier to add a half on each side than it is to try to work the whole tab around. I want to make sure I get that tightened down really well because on this head, um, it's really deep. Uh, the collar is really deep. And so if you don't get it really tight, for some reason it likes to roll around more so than my other jig heads. Now I'm going to take half a tab and we're going to put it in on the other side. And just going to make sure it's just evenly distributed that I got all the coverage that I want. Now the first one that I put in, I got more towards the back. So this one I'll compensate by just shifting it because it's uh, we just want full coverage is what we want. It's a, it's a layered jig, so we want the color to go all the way around. How you accomplish that is... Uh, on you. <laughs> I'm just trying to do it the easiest way and that's how I've always done it. Uh, on this head, uh, like I said, I, I do a front and back and then I do the sides and then I'll do the front and back again or top and bottom however you want to look at it. I'm going to take one of these clips here and I'm going to clip what we have down to the shank and a hook because it's going to make it easier for me that I won't get everything all jumbled up and now we're going to take uh, green pumpkin Dalmatian and I'm gonna lay this on top wrap make the second one just and I'm just going to make sure that I have it, that it's halfway. That's all. It's, again, it, it's just to make sure you get the right amount of coverage. It's not critical. You can have a little bit more on uh, one side than the other because you'll see how it comes out. It's basically you want this color blended for this pattern. But I think it's a pretty good bluegill deal. Uh, for a flipping jig. I'm going to flip it back up and we're going to put the other half of this uh, green pumpkin Dalmatian. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to unclip this and redo it since uh, we just put added that other material. And now we can tighten it up. Now you want to you definitely want to tighten this um, that you're tight um, against the ring. I'm sorry, I can't think. Uh, the ring on this collar. You definitely want to pull and pull it tight. That'll keep this material, it'll pull it out a little bit that it won't be laying right on the hook. why it's I'm going slow here to make sure I got it right up against the head because again this is a, a real deep collar so it's a little different tying when the collar is that deep 
You have to be very careful that you don't trap any material. And you also want to be tight to the rings to get your flare. That looks pretty good. Now all we got to do is whip finish it and head cement and weed guard. Three, four, five, and six. Pull it tight. We'll do more. One, two, three, I'll do three more. I could leave it go there, but this is a big jig, so I like to have it knot it down pretty good. Two. And three. 64 strands gets... I try um, using the clip, but on this sloped head, it doesn't like to stay on. It falls off, so we just muddle through it. Now we're going to take our loom uh, super glue brush on, or I'm sorry, loom uh, water-based head cement. I was just using uh, the super glue brush on uh, a couple jigs that I did before this one. This is the loom water-based head cement. And we're going to take our clips off here. I'm going to stretch my material out. Take the scissors. Chop that off. Chop the front half off. We're going to take our dog comb and just go through this material to separate anything that might have got stuck together. Yeah, because see, I have a piece here that I didn't even cut. Right here. Right here. Take it out. We're going to add our weed guard, and I'll show you what we have then. Take our Loctite Super Glue Gel. Remember, always the gel on, on the weed guard. You don't want regular super glue. It'll wick up the fibers. And there is... The grass gill. Let's see if I can. Half ounce, five aw hook, and we got that blue, the blue gill colors in there with the green pumpkin, the orange, some blue. This is really good in grass. Um, this jig head performs really well, but this color, this pattern, blue gill. It just works. Um, any type of green pumpkin, watermelon, um, even black and blue trailer will work with this. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.